Hey guys, welcome to another class here. Uh, this is just about how to create a rainbow effect inside of Nuke. Um, so if you're from like going over from Photoshop or something like that, uh, multicolor gradients like this are pretty simple. Uh, but in Nuke, there's no simple way to actually do it. Um, but it is actually a pretty easy technique and I'm just gonna go over it quickly here uh, and show you guys exactly how I created this effect. And you know, just a quick example, I'm breaking up through some noise and stuff like that. Um, and how you could actually use this in a shot. Um, so I'm gonna go through that quickly and I'll also show you guys the kind of um, preset that exists, um, but it's not 100% a rainbow. Um, so that's kind of the downfall of this specific uh, preset. Um, so we'll show you guys exactly how to do that. So we're gonna start by creating a ramp. And the key to this technique is actually um, using the color space node. So we're gonna be kind of converting and if you've never used this node, you're not familiar, um, essentially what we can do is we can, uh, if we double click this node, we can see that there's all these different types of settings here. Uh, but what we're, what we're concerned with is the one uh, that says HSV. And what that means is hue, saturation, and value. And if I get my drawing tool here, uh, so if I draw here, what's gonna happen with these three color channels? So we're saying we're inputting a linear image and this is really not an in-depth uh, video about color spaces. Uh, it's just a really brief ex explanation. So if you guys already know a lot about color space, you can probably skip this quick part. Um, but essentially what we're doing here is we're gonna convert the red, green, and blue image into uh, hue. And this is gonna go in the red channel. So this will go in the red channel. So hue, which is like the uh, specific color. Uh, saturation, and this will go in the green channel. Uh, and value, which is basically the luminance. So this will go in the blue channel. Uh, so hue is the range of colors. So if we convert this into hue, uh, well, there's no range of colors here, so it's gonna be empty. Uh, saturation is also gonna be empty because there's no uh, difference in the color channels here. So that channel will be empty. And value, and we do have a difference in value here because we have uh, zero and one. So that's the difference in value. So that's gonna be uh, what's going to happen uh, when we convert this image in this color space. So if that's really confusing to you, uh, just watch and you'll see exactly how it works. So uh, now that we have our ramp, I'm going to create a color space node and set that to HSV, like I just said. And immediately you'll see kind of exactly what I just explained. The red, green, and blue channel. Uh, the red and green are empty and the blue uh, has something. Um, and, and it's because there's no color differences in the hue and uh, and there's no difference in the saturation. So those channels are empty. Uh, so what we need to do here is essentially, it's kind of a nuke trick uh, to be able to do this, but uh, what we wanna do is create a, a range of all of the hues that are possible. Um, so what we need to do is create a shuffle node. And because our blue value, uh, our blue channel has the uh, zero to one value, uh, we can get the entire color spectrum by using this ramp. So essentially all you need to do is after you've converted it to this HSV, you take the uh, V channel, which is the blue channel, uh, and we, we wanna shuffle this into hue. So we're gonna put it into the red channel. And then the next thing we need to do is we wanna have 100% uh, saturation in this picture. We wanna have the full saturation of each color. So in the green channel, we wanna shuffle it to solid one and in the blue channel, we also want to shuff, shuffle it to a solid one because we don't want the rainbow to get darker. Uh, and now, so if we copy this color space again, and we paste it after, and you just hit uh, swap. So now it's going to swap back to linear. And now you see it's actually created uh, a rainbow. So uh, that's essentially how you do it. You just need to do linear to HSV, shuffle the channels like this. So you shuffle the blue into the red, and then the green and the blue channel are just solid, and then you convert it back. And now you have a rainbow uh, ramp that essentially you can control. It's gonna automatically create that rainbow um, through, that, through that gradient. Uh, so what's also pretty cool about this is, so if we wanna make that a circular rainbow, like if, is it, if we were putting it inside of a shot or something like that, um, we also have a node here. This is a custom node from uh, Nukepedia. You can get it in the script below if you want, free download. 
uh, from Daniel uh, Velikov uh, in 2015. And essentially, if you guys are, have an After Effects background, uh, it's just a polar coordinates node, um, but it's in Nuke. So if we if we throw that on there, it's going to automatically remap our image to be a circular uh, image. And if we want to get rid of all this red on the outside, what we can do is just crop down to our where our rainbow kind of ends and just get something like that and it's going to remap and i'm going to put another crop so if we if uh it's kind of a problem here uh it needs to the bounding box for image needs to go all the way to the frame so this crop is kind of uh not doing that so i'm just going to put another crop right after and you'll see the bounding box kind of goes to the edge of the frame and now if we do the uh, distort polar distort it's going to wrap it like that and there's one other problem we have here and you see that okay well red is supposed to be on the outside purple is supposed to be kind of on the bottom and it's not exactly doing that so what we can do is put a grade node uh, before the color space so i'll put a grade node here and if you adjust the gamma you can actually shift these colors along uh the spectrum and that gives us a little bit of control um you know in uh our colors here and you can also adjust the black point and white point if you want to go crazy and have multiple uh, ripples of this kind of rainbow effect uh, in here but usually you just need the gamma and that's going to get you what you want uh, alternatively if you want to make this rainbow a bit thinner and you want to adjust it again you can go back to your ramp make the ramp a little bit smaller and then you would just adjust again your crop so you just adjust the crop to that that region make sure the bounding box goes to the frame and then do the polar distort and then of course you could take this and take it further and then all i did was blur it a little bit uh multiply it through a little bit of noise because maybe you're uh, this is probably going to appear in some clouds or mist uh, or volume because that's usually where this is happening and you can transform it and move it around or do whatever um, and also i have a link below if you guys are interested in reading about the science uh, of rainbows um, because it's basically just an optical effect uh, it's not a physical thing in the real world um, so this is kind of a, a link that you can just read a little bit about it and understand what you're doing uh, also i just wanted to show you guys one last thing which is the flare node that some of you guys might notice and be like hey there's already a node that creates a rainbow in nuke uh, if you go to the flare and you go to presets and you say uh, lg rainbow uh, it kind of gives you a rainbow but if you notice it doesn't have the full color spectrum in here and uh yeah i guess it's just not as um flexible as using um this technique so you can use that if you're just trying to cre create something like uh, a lens flare or something like that uh, it has a couple settings here like chroma shift and stuff like that which is useful um, but again it's just giving you these these colors here so you're not getting the exact effect of of a, of a, of a full rainbow which is what we we're creating here so that's essentially the technique. Hopefully you guys got something out of it. Hit like if you like content like this. Um, again, I'm trying to create beginner content as well as kind of more intermediate and advanced content. I guess this would be more of an intermediate uh, tutorial. Um, so I know some of you guys are more advanced. Uh, I'll try to label each video on kind of what level I'm aiming for with, with uh, each tutorial. So hopefully that uh, saves you guys some time if you already know uh, what I'm talking about. So thanks.